Hello and a warm welcome to Fuji International Speedway for round six of the GT Asia Series for 2015. I'm Jonathan Green, bringing you all the action from the iconic Japanese circuit. We've seen some classic races in all forms of motorsport over the past 30 years, including Formula One. As is so often the case at Mount Fuji, the weather can play a huge part in the race weekend as it did in round five. Once again, it poured down throughout most of the weekend, but also threw up some great racing, wheel-to-wheel -wheel action. In the end, though, it came down to the Ferrari 458 battle between champion Mock and tie driver Todd Pitty. Pitty held on to take a famous victory, his first in quite some time. I've been waiting for this moment for, I think it's over two years, and definitely it's very proud and very happy that I am getting on top of the podium again. And it gives me a lot of inspiration for, for the next race and for the team as well. It's only my second race, the team's third race with Ferrari, and uh, we win already, it's, uh, it's above expectation. Great result for a team that really sacrificed so much to put us back on the grid. And so happy to be able to do it for them. Pretty happy for my, myself, really happy for the team, great effort. Guys been working like two weeks in a row to, to get the car running, so for us P2 and P3 is like winning the race. The start was a bit of a mess, I went inside and Lion just uh, hit me on the, on the back of my car, so he broke my rim, he broke his rim, so that was a uh, game over for us, uh, I had to pit and we lost two laps. An acceptable uh, driving style from uh, Sawa because you cannot rejoin the race without to take a look of uh, the racing line. That was uh, my fault, so I'm uh, too much exciting when I went to out. So I tried to come back to rejoin for the circuit uh, too quick. So I wanna I wanna approach it for Carnival Eight uh, of course. Qualifying for round six from Fuji International Speedway for the GT Asia Series. And once again, torrential rain greeted qualifying. But the best rose to the top again. The usual suspects, Vlander and Mark were in the mix. So too were the Bentleys and the Ferraris. And of course, the McLarens. Andre Kuta and the Nissan looking good as well. Conditions varied throughout the qualifying session. But in the end, it was Jonathan Venter who came good. He and Daryl O'Young taking the pole position for Aston Martin as they did in South Korea. Jonathan Venter then taking the number 99 VLT Aston Martin to pole position for round six. Hock Win Sung took third place overall in the 458. Hamaguchi, along with the help of Luizzi, was second on the grid. So now I'm happy with pole position actually. Um, and then my first run there, I didn't think that my time was quick enough, so came in, cooled down the tyres, went for a second run, and we got a better time, so I'm very happy. Confirmation then of the result. Jonathan Venter and Darryl O'Young in pole position with a 153.6 ahead of Hiroshi Hamaguchi. And Luizzi, Mock in third place, Richard Wee in fourth, and Xiang Zin and Max Visa taking the championship leading car of Spirit of Race Ferrari to fifth place overall. So then, a long race ahead, in the wet possibly. Everybody limbering up to get ready for round six. It's thumbs up all the way from Fuji International Raceway. And here we go for round six. It's foggy, it's not raining. It's just very foggy under Mount Fuji, so the lights are ablaze. And we're about to go racing. The formation is perfect. Venter will try to hold that position in pole. The laptops come out, Luzzi and the rest of those waiting, the professional drivers, for their stint because it's the amateurs up first. They all spread out. Wide go the Ferraris. And Pitti getting very close to the pit wall there. But Jonathan Ventner holds the lead going into turn one. Good start from Hamaguchi. Wide goes Richard Wee, off track in fact, and a spin there. Frank Yu turns round for Kraft Bamboo, and I think he was turned round from behind. But either way, 
one of the Aston Martins that sprang you already out of proceedings. Pity slots into third place behind Hamaguchi. Great start then as we go on board with Pity in third place. He almost hit the, uh, the pit wall as he looked for position, jostled for position early on. And already looks as though Adelaide Fong is trying to get into third place. Jeffrey Lee and another Bentley further back, and it is Venter. Hamaguchi, Pity, Fong in fourth, Mark in fifth, Zhang in sixth place. Zen Liu is in seventh place. And Richard Wee did lose out all the way down to eighth position, but recovered well, having gone wide at turn one. Well, for an start, and here comes Adelaide Fong again. And Fong, considered an amateur, but really, he's got so much experience and is really one of the best drivers, without a doubt, out there at the moment. Come through the ranks of single-seaters all the way up to Formula One, and now with this Bentley, as Hamaguchi goes side by side with Pitti. Something's got to give there. They come up the hill to the last corner. And Hamaguchi's got the line, has he? Well, either way, Adelaide Fong comes alongside Todd Pitti. And it's a drag race. McLaren, Bentley, Ferrari. Great stuff, this. Across the line they come. Hamaguchi holding on, on board with Pitti. Well, it's a 1.2 kilometer run towards the first corner, then it's hard on the anchors, as you can see. Fong just gets through. Oh, and a touch from Todd Pitti on Hamaguchi. And three cars involved. Mark is also involved. He spins out of it. So too does Pitti. But it looks as though the McLaren of number 55, Hamaguchi, and Liuzzi in the Triple F racing. McLaren has beached it. Here's another look. If they go into turn one, well, Pitti just nudged the back of the McLaren, spun him round, Mott was involved. And damage to Todd Pitti as he pits now early. So it is Venter in the Aston Martin, Fong now second, Zhang up to third place. There he is, lights ablaze. And Zhang Zin will try everything in his power to pass the car to Max Visa from third place for the spirit of race Ferrari. And now more battles further down. Malagamua side by side with Zen Lo, just behind Jeffrey Lee. And behind him, Mox recovering, having had that spin. Wow, what a dramatic first two laps we've had here. Confusion reigns. Lo in sixth place, Jeffrey Lee seventh, and Mock coming through now, or trying to anyway. Another spin, this time to Kuma Aoki. Winner, of course, in round five with Ken Urata in the GTM class. Meanwhile, Pitti has pitted. And uh, Todd Pitti, let's see what the damage is to the front of that car. Carlo Van Damme, who had such a good run in round five, looking concerned as well he might. The Singer Motorsports team not in good shape. Zen Lo trying to defend from Jeffrey Lee. And Jeffrey Lee gets a little bit overzealous. Taps into the back of Lo. Lo. Holds his position. And these two have raced each other many a time. And meanwhile, Mok Wen-Sun, man who's won four times here at Fuji, is going to get on level turns with Jeffrey Lee. Mok, runner-up last time out, looking for his 21st GT Asia win. The current champion in the Ferrari. And sure enough, Mok Wen-Sun, nice use of the long straight here at Fuji to dive into turn one in sixth place now and try and go in pursuit of more. Mandatory pit stop, remember. And of course, there will also be effectively success penalties time-wise. Mark has a nine second extra to his pit stop. Likewise, Pitti will also have Extra seconds added, some 12 seconds, and another spin, that's the number five, that's the Nissan. The GTR Nismo GT3 of Triple F Racing by ACM, Kuto and Fu. Fu spinning it round in their battle to stay in the top 10. Tappy and Andy, and Andy Suchek watching on, doing their own commentary before they do their racing. Oh, and look at this. Three abreast into the left-hander. 
Somehow they get past. I don't know how. And onto the grass goes the number 32 of Ida from Bingo Racing. He may as well have shouted Bingo then. But he's still going. Meanwhile, the battle for ninth and 10th, still between Zane Lowe and Jackie Young in 10th position. It's getting pretty intense, that's for sure. <laughs> Duncan Tappy, Young's teammate, screams at Young to try to stay out of trouble. I don't think he can hear him. Always doing their own commentary before they get into their own stint. What a great race this is turning out to be. We haven't had the pit stops yet. Here comes Bingo, racing again. Ida in the number 32, side by side with the Bentley. No real difference in power, just a very different shape and sized car. And through goes the number 32. Andy Suchek watching on from the sidelines. Mock up to fifth place. Getting ahead of Delantha Malagamur, who himself is a former GT Asia champion, just like Mock. Hasn't had as many championships as Mott Wensung. And meanwhile, Lo and Young continuing their battle. No change at the front. Here comes Jackie Young. Current GTM champion, now up to GT3. Nice maneuver at turn one, but the door was left open. Paddy Roberts watching on, all serious as ever, as he concentrates. Meanwhile, back at the front, Venter and Fong. Adelaide Fong has caught right up now to Jonathan Venter in the number 99 VLT Aston Martin. They're coming past some of the back markers of the GTM class. Here's Adelaide Fong's chance. He swishes to the inside, then to the outside. Surely he can't go around there. Takes a very wide line. Tries to keep the pace up as they head downhill. Venter taking defensive action as his teammate, Daryl O'Young, watches on pensively. Young and Lowe continue. Zen Lowe trying to get past here, up the inside, turn one. Here we go. Nice maneuver. That's the way to overtake it, Fuji. It was aggressive, but fair. Pit lane is now open. So now we're going to get some drama. In comes the champion, Mok Wensung for Clearwater Racing in the 458. And likewise, in comes the number 88, Aston Martin. Of Bowsey and Lowe. Also in the number 12, the GT3 of Griffin and Wee. Wee doing a very good stint. Now they'll be handing over to the professionals. Venter and Fong continuing in the front. They haven't pitted yet. And this may not be the wisest move to fight just before the pit lane entry because they may lose time as they battle each other. They really want clear air right now before their pit stop, but of course, both of them want the lead before they hand over to the professionals. Bit of a traffic jam at Fuji in the pit lane. But everyone seemingly away cleanly. In comes Fu in the Nissan. Away go the Ferraris. Mock still in the pits. And Tony Wielander, of course, they've got that success. Extra few seconds to stay there. Meanwhile, Jonathan Venter, of course, who's already won this year and loses out to the number eight. Nicely done. As through goes Sauer and Fong and Adelaide Fong and Keta Sauer. What a combination, those two. Continental GT3, new to Asia, relatively so. Coming in last year, at the end of last year. Going well in China and in Macau and then coming in full-time this season with a big effort from Bentley. Darrell O'Young, one of the most successful drivers in Southeast Asia from Hong Kong. He's driven in the World Touring Cars, Le Mans in sports cars for Aston Martin, of course, and now continues to be their top driver in Asia, certainly one of them. In come the leaders for their pit stops and flashing the lights on the Bentley is Adelaide Fong, somewhat frustrated. He's been bulked as they come in. And Venter right behind him. It shouldn't make too much difference, though. But they want to get in as quickly as they can. The adrenaline flowing. They want to get the driver change done. And this is agonizingly slow, I'm sure, having been at the speed they've been. The Aston Martin finds its mark. So too does the um, number eight, although he pushes it slightly far. But OK. And 
I'm not sure where the Bentley driver was heading, Adelaide Bond, but he was sprinting down towards the Aston Martin. Maybe he's got a problem with the other driver. Max Visa then at the wheel of the Spirit of Race Ferrari 458, who remember started the weekend. You and Rizzo not taking part, but giving the car to Max Visa and Jiang Zin. Oh, it's very close again between the Bentley and the Aston Martin. They're side by side as they head out of the pit lane, but the uh, Aston Martin just nudges himself in front as Darrell O'Young manages to get out before Ketasawa, the Japanese, finds himself bolt behind another Bentley, this time of Tappy and Young. Not sure if Young has actually pitted yet, but either way, Darrell O'Young with lights ablaze on the VLT, Aston Martin is out in Fuji for his second stint. And already pushing very hard in his opening lap. Don't think it's going to rain. It's just foggy, really. And the track is dry. Oh, Young, Sauer, Visa, Griffin, Vlander. That's the top five. Now we shuffle through the pit stops. Sasaki in sixth place. Suchek seventh. Fauzi eighth. Aida in ninth position. And then the Australian in tenth position ahead of Tappy in 11th. So then, there is Matt Griffin, the Irishman. Oh, a three-second stop-and-go penalty for the number 86. Team Odi Racing, Gallardo, or Fauzi and Lowe. They just got the timing wrong on their pit stops. We're just under 85 seconds, and Sen Lowe will be kicking himself. Fauzi probably won't know about it yet. Here's the leaders again. Aston Martin trying to defend against Bentley. The two British marks going head-to-head -head here in Japan. And Kenesawa tries to go around the outside of the Aston Martin. Can't do it. Gets good drive out of turn one. And Darrell O'Young is in trouble. Here comes Kenesawa. They're side by side as they head down the hill. Whoa. Good late braking. Or is it too much? Just pulling it together. They're side by side still. What a race. And they've got to both be careful here. Sauer will not hold back at Darrell O'Young. Knows exactly how to race at close quarters and gives in just at this moment because he knows he's got the better line and holds it. Sauer will have to rebuild again, but he's got good drive again as they head up the hill again. What a race for the lead this is. Coming down to the closing stages, get a Sauer, looks to the outside. And surely he won't muscle his way through. No, he doesn't. And Darrell O'Young. Boy, he knows he's in a scrap now with Geta Sauer, and they're really enjoying this. Faris Faus, he parks it and does his stop-go penalty. Meanwhile, Geta Sauer. Just a little wide last time out, but it was great action. And through, back came Darrell O'Young, getting the better line through the inside of the left-hander. Great racing all the same. Darrell O'Young in the Aston Martin, Holds on to that lead for now. They cross the line again. Time running out on this great battle for round six. And of course, with Rizzo and Liu not taking part this weekend, the championship battle is on. Pitti got good points last time out, but through goes Sauer into the lead, and Darrell O'Young will have to battle back. They're side by side again down the hill. Last time out, the Bentley break late as he possibly could and does so again but will he make the corner yes he does oh young tries to get good drive tries to look to the outside of the bentley adelaide fong watching on he's happy with it the bentley driver did his part tung and kuto they've raced each other a fair few times in single seaters and now doing it in sports cars hoping tung of course in the audi coming into the championship as is kuto for the first time but both of them have got bags of experience of sports car racing especially in japan in Kuto's case, as for Hope Bintung, well, he's driven around the world at the highest level, from Formula One to Formula E, and of course, in endurance and sports car racing. The Nissan, trying to make its way through, really struggled in the wet, did the number five. Looking much better now with Kuto at the wheel. Trying to make up some places, Andre Kuto. 
history he's had here in Japan. Plays most of his career here in Japan, the man from Macau. Known him since he was man and boy of just 16 years of age. In fact, I watched him kart at 15 in Guangzhou, and we all knew back then that something special was going to come with Andre Kutu, and it has. Great to see him racing at this level. Let's hope we keep him in GT Asia for a few more rounds. Maybe see him race at Macau in GTs again, as he has done so many times. And of course, in World Touring Cars as well at Macau. So, we're coming down to the closing stages of this one. It's certainly not over by any means. Aida in the number 32 in eighth position, and the Australian Antunes behind him in the McLaren. And I think Antunes in the 650S is getting a little frustrated behind the Japanese. And yes, does nudge him round! Oh, that was a little tough by Nathan Antunes there on the number 32. Aida doing his job for Bingo Racing. But his number's up, I'm afraid. And into the gravel he goes. Meanwhile, Antunes continues, but he too has got damage to that McLaren, as you can see at the back there. Here's another look at it. Well, I'm afraid it was just too aggressive. Yep, didn't need to do that at all. And he could have got himself in worse trouble. Yes, it is. I think the marshals will bring him in for the dangling bodywork. But Sauer marching on his way to victory now in the number eight. Bentley. And they won last time out in Okayama. That was emotional. And this one is going to be emotional too. As Keta Sauer takes the checkered flag for Bentley. The absolute team win again in Japan. And Adelaide Fong did his part. But it's Keta Sauer who does the business by taking victory. Venter cheers his man, Darlo Young, home for the podium. But it's Keta Sauer who wins in Japan at home at Fuji. And once again, Lights blazing also as Max Visa takes the spirit of race Ferrari to third place overall. Confirmation of the results then. Adelaide Fong and Kedis Sauer with the win. Jonathan Venter and Darylo Young second. Zian Zin and Max Visa third. Richard Wee and Matt Griffin in fourth place. Mok Wen Sung and Tony Wielander in fifth place in the Ferrari. Good. And uh, yeah, also me, I, my stint was uh, really good. I'm uh, so fun to bat make a battles with the Daro because the Daro knows each other so long time. So we know we no need to bit uh, even bit uh, worry about the battles. We uh, respect each other. So today is a fantastic day for us. We we opted to try to overtake them with uh, overtake them back with not changing tires. Uh, it gave us warm tires. We thought to take a little bit longer to get the tires cold, warm for them, but I only got a four second gap before his tires started coming in, so it wasn't just, just not enough tires to fight uh, today. Um, you know, it's 50-50 it's either way. I think we have to take a strategy call and go for it, and the team did a fantastic job. Uh, so I thank BLT. Um, we're now joint lead, lead in the championship, so I'm very happy with this weekend. We progressed, and uh, we'll have to see how it goes. The championship is so tight right now, so I keep getting results, um, and uh, hope for the best. So with six rounds gone, of the 11, everyone starting to think about points and Thank the championship you, ahead. Congratulations to our winners. Let's hear from them. Being able to be here and win is, is uh, really good. And thanks to Absolute Racing. Uh, they really worked hard last night to put the car back together. Basically, they repaid all, uh, rep replaced all the parts on the left-hand side of the car from side skirt to fenders. So, you know, they, they stayed up late, uh, they worked hard, and they gave us a good car today. Congratulations to our GTM winners, Fukuda and Liu. Taiwan top speed car in the 458 challenge with Fukuda, ever popular in Japan. With help of uh, Rio, you know, I improved, obviously improved a lot. And, um, you know, I'm still progressing as a, as a driver, but um, yeah, I'm very, very satisfied. Adelaide Fong, Kedisawa on 63. Likewise, Jonathan Venter and Daryl O. Young. Liu and Rizzo drop to 57. And Todd Pitty in seventh overall with 52 points, one point ahead of Richard Wee. Bentley and Team Absolute lead the team's championship with 113, ahead of Craft Bamboo Racing with 105. Clearwater with 92, and Triple F Racing Team by ACM in fourth with 81. Well, once again, Fuji International Speedway did not disappoint. Great racing from Japan. 
boys get a little bit of a break now before they head to a three hour endurance race in Sepang, Malaysia. Until then, from me, Jonathan Green, and everyone at Motorsport Asia, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time out.